Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys all the new lip colors from the CoverGirl Spring Collection. So I had tried filming this video earlier in the week, but I just couldn't get it down to a reasonable watch time because there are so many products to swatch. So there are two different types of liquid mattes, and then there's also um, the Katie Cat glosses. So what I did was for the liquid lips, they're, they're like a slightly different formula, but they have some similar shades. So what I did this time around, just to make it a little easier and a little less confusing, was I actually swatched the shades that are similar for the liquid mattes. So after I review the liquid lips, I'll then swatch the lip glosses for you guys as well. So a little bit about the two different liquid matte lipsticks. So we have the Melting Pout matte liquid lipsticks that's hard for me to say melting pout matte liquid lipsticks which are this side here and it says that these are available in 12 shades these are $6.99 so I'll show you guys what they look like so this is the tube for the melted pout liquid lipsticks so on this side we have the Queen Collection major shade liquid matte lipsticks and it says that these come in 12 shades and it will take you effortlessly from day to night and it has a moisturizing formula that's easy to apply and complements a variety of skin tones and these guys are $8.99 so this is what this packaging looks like and these are also um, the doe foot applicators So on my left arm are the Melting Pout Matte Liquid Lipsticks, and on my right arm are the CoverGirl Sprint Collection. So let's see. So I'll hold these guys up for you. So now I'm gonna go in with the shades that aren't that similar. So I have here Ballerina. So this is on the Melting Pout liquid lipstick side. So this right here is Ballerina. So it's definitely like a light mauve pinky nude. And below that is Secret. So it's like a dark rose color. And then last for this side, we have Paradise Lost. So this is like a milk chocolatey brown. Okay. Now I'll finish off with the last three from the Queen Collection. So this next one is Flamingo. So this is like a hot pink. So it's very hot pink. So again, that guy is Flamingo. So this is Rebel right here. So I feel like the only word to describe that is like brown berry or something. It's very much like a, like a brownish purple. All right, and then the last one for this side is LBD little black dress. And that this is just um, a straight black shade. So that is little black dress right there. So I have to say that the formula on both ends are very similar to me. They are definitely a creamy matte. You definitely can feel the moisture in both of these formulas. I actually really like them. I've been wearing Insider a lot. That is this guy and I'm actually... And it's actually on my lips now. And I've been wearing this shade just about every day since I got the package about a week ago. So, I mean, that should say a lot right there. These don't crack for me throughout the day and they don't give you that white line 
that the really drying map formulas do to you. Um, I think the scientific term is butthole map, <laughs> but um, but yeah, it doesn't do that at all. And you can't really see where the lipstick ends and where your lips begin. Like, I don't know about you guys if you've tried a bunch of liquid lips. Some of them you can really tell, like it gives like a harsh line and just the coloring just doesn't pick up on your actual lips. It just doesn't stay on them, like on the inside part. So it gives you that really harsh divider line, if you guys know what I'm talking about. These actually don't do that. Um, I wouldn't say that they're a super full coverage formula. Um, they definitely are pigmented, but I would have to say, I would say that you do need about two layers. They're super buildable. Um, I actually like that personally in a liquid matte formula because it allows you to give more of a natural feel to it, to layer it on. Um, the formulas that are super pigmented, it's so harsh when it goes on that you're like screwed and you can't really fuss with it and it's just a mess. So, I mean, I really like this formula. It's something that I would have bought on my own and once I run out of my favorite shades on here, I'm definitely gonna be purchasing them. So, I mean, I think that says a lot. Also, I had hot wings the other day wearing this liquid lip and it barely budged. I'm telling you, like, like it still looked pretty perfect. It was just like a little bit underneath that was off from, I guess, like the sauce and like a little bit on the inner corners, but literally like it, I could have gone without reapplying it. So that's definitely worth mentioning. Okay, so I'm going to wash my arms off right now and then I'm gonna swatch the Katie Cat glosses for you guys. So give me one second. Okay. Ooh. All right, guys, so now we're moving on to the Katie Cat glosses. So a little bit about these guys. It says they come in 12 shades and they're highly pigmented. That it delivers luxurious lips for any occasion. And the gloss gives you shiny lips that you've been looking for with a soft, creamy, moisturized feel. And these are $6.99. So the tubes look like this. So these are super cute and they have the Chrome Kitty up top here for the collaboration with Katy Perry. So eight out of the 12 shades are just like a flat color and the rest have either an iridescent or a sparkle to them. And they're definitely a buildable coverage. I definitely wouldn't say that they're sheer because they are pigmented. You could definitely tell what color they are. But in order to get a really um, like a full coverage, I would say like two to three layers. So at the top here, I have white Cadillac and that's just a flat white. And right below that guy is called Catalope. And I would describe this guy as like a dark champagne color and it has um, like a gold sparkle to it. And then right below that is called Tabby Tees, which is like a hot corally shade. And right below that coral shade is called Candy Cat, which is definitely like a bubblegum pink. And then below that guy is called Pounce which is like a hot lilac. And then we have catnip, which is like a, I would say like a hot magenta. And then below that, that is called purple paws, which is actually really similar to the shade catnip. It's just a slightly bit darker. And then below that guy is called kitty karma, which is a hot pink shade. And then we have Ninth Life, which I would describe as a very true red. And right below that is Wine Feline, which is, I guess, like a whiny, crimsony red. And then you have Indigo Cat, which is a purpley midnight blue. Then below that is called Cobalt Kitty, which I would describe as like a cotton candy blue. I mean, they're definitely cute. They're fun spring colors. And the formula does seem really moisturizing. It doesn't seem super sticky like most lip glosses are, you know, and like your hair gets stuck in them and then it's just like the end of the world. It doesn't feel like that at all. And for $6.99, I mean, I would say that these are definitely worth it. All right, guys, so those are all the lips from the spring collection. So let me know which one was your favorite and if you guys are gonna go out and purchase any of these. The next video for this series will be on eyes. So there's three different eyeshadow palettes for the spring and also I believe there's five um, liquid liners. So there's three 
types of black. I think there's a brown and then like a really pretty teal color. So I'll swatch those guys for you. And also there's mascara and highlighters, I believe. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys that on the next video, so stay tuned. And if you guys haven't watched the full unboxing of the CoverGirl package, I'll link that below for you. I tried to make this video as informative as possible without it being too confusing. So I hope that I succeeded in that. Um, if you guys have any other questions though, definitely leave me a comment below. This is my first swatch video, so this was definitely a challenge for me. <laughs> I hope that it flowed well and isn't gonna be like super choppy when I go to edit this, but if it is, I'm sorry and I will get better at this. So stay tuned for me to get my shit together. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys all the new lip colors from the CoverGirl Spring Collection.